How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're looking at some supernatural entities that have been caught on camera. But as always, before we dive in, remember to hit that subscribe button for more creepy content just like this. You may be familiar with the name Pablo Escobar, but are you familiar with his ghost? There are lots of stories about the spirits of famous or infamous people hanging around after death. But the possibility of being haunted by someone as dangerous as Escobar gives a whole new level of terror to celebrity hauntings. Pablo Escobar, the so-called King of Cocaine, was a Colombian drug lord beginning in the 1970s and the founder of the notorious Medellin cartel. Escobar is infamous for being the wealthiest criminal in history, amassing a fortune of over 30 billion by the time of his death. This is the equivalent of about 65 billion today. He started some of the first drug running routes in the United States, and his reign as a drug kingpin was marked by violence and terrorism as he fought rivals, killed police and politicians, and terrified locals. With his life marked by unsettling violence, it's unsurprising that Escobar's spirit seems to be restless after death. The first evidence that could indicate that Escobar's ghost is still wandering the earth comes from a photo taken by a woman named Maria Del Mar. Maria snapped a photo of the famed Monaco building in Medellin, Colombia, the former home of the now deceased drug lord. The building has since been demolished, but Maria's photo lives on, largely because of what seems to be lurking on one of the balconies. When Maria zoomed in on the picture, she thought she saw a human figure looking out onto the street. Many who have seen the photo state that the figure appears to strongly resemble Escobar. Even on the blurry figure, one feature stands out, its moustache. Escobar was known in life for always sporting a large moustache that looks just like the one in this photo. Some viewers believe that the image was photoshopped, but others are convinced that Maria actually captured a photo of Escobar's spirit lingering in his old home. If we apply some filters over the image, we're able to see if it's been manipulated in any way. Firstly, a noise analysis filter shows nothing out of the ordinary. Apart from the big red oval that's clearly been put over the top of the photo, there's no obvious signs of photoshopping where the alleged spirit is standing. A luminance gradient filter shows that there is indeed a figure there. The light appears to be interacting normally and naturally with the object. This might suggest that a person is standing there, but who it is remains unknown. Because of the violence and criminality associated with Escobar, the Colombian government eventually decided to demolish the Monaco building in 2019. According to a video shared to YouTube by Bogota Dream TV4, the spirit of its famed former occupant may have been in residence until the last moment. The footage was shot from a nearby building as demolition crews prepared to implode the building in front of a crowd of onlookers. Moments before the charges were ignited, the video shows something odd in one of the upper floors of the building. Take a look. Something white appears to be moving back and forth in one of the corridors. When still, it appears to be almost human in shape. When it moves, it seems to blur into something amorphous. The strange figure can be seen in the building until the very moment that the walls begin to crumble and fall. Numerous witnesses watching the demolition have corroborated the video's evidence, stating that they too spotted a figure moving in the building just before the demolition. In the video, the figure's movements seem highly unnatural. In fact, at various points in the footage, the figure seems to rise off the ground and fly towards the ceiling. This has led many to believe that the footage has captured further evidence that Escobar's spirit remained in his former home after death. If the photo and video do indicate that Escobar's spirit was residing in the Monaco building, what does that suggest about the spirit's current whereabouts? 
Was its tether to the earth severed when the building was demolished? Or does the ghost of Pablo Escobar still haunt Medellin? Residents and visitors may want to keep their eyes open. They might just spot the long dead drug lord when they least expect it. If you're like most people, you probably don't want to find out your home is haunted. If movies have taught us anything, it's that living with a ghost is less than an ideal situation. When Abayod Hernandez finds himself living in a real-life horror movie, he begins posting freaky videos on Facebook about the happenings in his allegedly haunted apartment. The footage that he captures is truly the stuff of nightmares. The spookiness begins when Abayod starts noticing a strange glowing light coming from under the door to the spare room of his apartment, which he uses as a gym. After the light appears a few times, he's finally able to capture it on camera. In this first video, we see him approach the spare room's door. We can clearly see a bright white light coming through the opening at the bottom. Yet when he opens the door, there seems to be no light anywhere in the room. He even zooms in on the overhead light, which doesn't even have a bulb. There's obviously no light source anywhere in the room, but when he closes the door again, the light beneath the door has returned. The ghostly light is just the beginning of his haunted adventure. Wanting more evidence of his haunting, Abayad sets up a camera facing a mirror in the allegedly haunted room. The camera captures some very strange footage. First, a chain hanging from the top of the mirror begins to swing all on its own, banging against the frame. Some thought it could have been caused by a draft blowing through the house. However, when the camera begins to slowly tilt itself to the side, you might be less keen to blame a wayward breeze. If you watch closely in the mirror, you can see that even the knob on the camera appears to be turning on its own. There's clearly no one visible in the room who could be doing this. Abayud definitely wants to get to the bottom of this mystery. He spreads flour in front of the door in hopes of capturing evidence of his ghostly roommate. He begins a Facebook Live video when he hears noises in the room. In the video, we can clearly see a section of the flower being brushed away by unseen hands, moments before the door begins to rattle. He enters the room just in time to see his boxing bag swinging around on its own in the empty room. Then, when he tries to leave the room, the door keeps pushing shut on its own, yanking the knob from his hand. When he's eventually able to leave the room, we see wind chimes swinging back and forth, and Abayod discovers that his couch has been turned over. We later see a book fly off its shelf. In a later video, he once again hears noises in the room. He enters and finds the chains near the mirror swinging on their own. He pans around the room, passing an empty chair. 
See if you can see anything weird happen. The chair is clearly empty when he enters the room, yet a split second later, there appears to be someone in it in the mirror's reflection. Here it is again in slow motion. The haunting seems to culminate in this chilling final video. Abayud finds himself in a blackout and has reached for his camera to document what happens. He walks around his apartment with a flashlight illuminating the way. A few moments in, the wind chimes begin rattling right in front of him. Then later, a book begins to move on a nearby dresser. Following on from this, Abayod investigates the room where the haunting seems to be the most strong. That's when something truly freaky happens. Watch. As you can see, a figure appears out of the darkness. The wind chimes jangle in the background. If we slow it right down, the figure appears to be a pale-skinned woman with large teeth. This series of videos has sent the paranormal community into a frenzy, with many claiming it has to be the real deal. And on face value, it's hard to disagree. The clips certainly appear to be genuine, showing events that would be incredibly difficult to fake. The eerie glowing room. The flower moving on the floor. And that bone chilling figure all amount to a frightening conclusion that Abayod Hernandez does seem to be experiencing something from beyond our world. Something deeply paranormal that can't quite be explained. <laughs> TikToker Parasomnia MX has uploaded a clip that seems to show something weird happening at an otherwise wholesome birthday celebration. The video begins on a happy note. A young woman stands in a room filled with balloons, flowers and gifts celebrating her birthday. The camera rolls as she stands in front of her birthday cake, preparing to blow out the candles. She leans forward but stops when someone nearby says something to her. Before she can resume blowing out the candles, something truly odd happens. Watch. The party goers watch in amazement as all but two of the candles blow themselves out. The birthday girl is clearly shocked by this turn of events. She stares at the smouldering candles, looking around for a possible explanation. When no explanation presents itself, she blows out the remaining candles before turning to her guests to ask what the heck just happened. Most ghosts are unable to have an effect on the physical world. However, occasionally a particularly powerful spirit known as a poltergeist will be strong enough to perform small actions like turning off lights or moving objects. Could a poltergeist have blown the candles out? According to experts, most poltergeists are relatively harmless, lacking the power to do anything too significant to a living person. However, on occasion, they can get dangerous, causing bruises, scratches, or even broken bones. Hopefully, this alleged poltergeist sticks to playfully blowing out birthday candles, and hopefully it didn't get any ectoplasm on the cake. According to this Facebook video uploaded by Ricardo Vargas, something eerie is happening at the San Bernardo train station in Chile. 
In this Facebook video, the cameraman stands on a train platform in the dark of night. The train station itself is well lit, but the surrounding area is shrouded in darkness. There appears to be no one else around. As the camera rolls, something truly mysterious happens. Watch, or more specifically, listen to what happens. According to Ricardo, the ground beneath his feet rumbled as the train came towards him on the tracks, yet no train appears. Even at the height of the sounds, when it seems as if a train should be directly in front of the camera, there's nothing. Even the train's automatic systems seem to believe that a train should be there. As we can see, the light at the end of the platform turns red as if to instruct the train to stop. But where is the train? According to the legends of the ghost train of San Bernardo, the train drives by in the wee hours of the morning every day at exactly 3am. Anyone nearby can feel the rumbling of the tracks and hear the sound of the approaching train. Some say that if you throw dirt towards the tracks as the ghost train passes, it'll bounce back as if hitting the side of the passing train and blowing away in its wake. No one seems to know the origin of the spooky locomotive. However, some viewers of the video believe that the whole legend is bunk. They theorize that a strong wind tunnel effect could be responsible for the mysterious sounds. But other viewers are certain that the sheer number of ghost train experiences that have been shared over time are evidence that the ghost train must be real. I'll throw this one out to you, the viewer. What do you think's going on at the San Bernardo train station? Love to hear your theories in the comments section below. Before we take a look at some eerie footage taken in someone's backyard, remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and mysterious videos. This short yet mysterious clip was uploaded to TikTok by Sari Blue. The user normally posts their usual daily happenings and family life to the social media platform, but that's what sets this video apart and has some viewers suggesting it shows the hauntings of an ill-fated child. It shows a child's shopping trolley toy sitting in the middle of a cemented yard. That's when something eerie begins to take place. Watch. As you can see, the toy begins to wheel itself across the yard. There doesn't appear to be any string attached, nor is there anyone else around. Moments after the strange movement, the camera pans around the yard, clearly showing that there's no one hiding that could be manipulating the toy. This clip racked up thousands of views on the social media platform, with hundreds of comments speculating on what was going on. Some viewers cried hoax, while others seemed genuinely unnerved by the video. Some suggested that the spirit of a child might be playing with the toy. Perhaps a tragedy took place in this very yard. So until further info comes to hand, this mysterious clip will have to remain an enigma.
If you want to see some more freaky stuff caught on camera, then check out that link on the top there. Otherwise, there's a paranormal playlist right there. Now, if you want to get your name scrolling along the top there, consider supporting our Patreon campaign. There's a link in the description box below. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. 